Hi folks, Matt from Galaxy S4 Root.com. Today we're going to go ahead and root AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S4 uh, on Android 4.4.2 for those of you who haven't been able to root. And also this will work on any Galaxy S4 Android 4.4.2. Uh, this will just give you root. It doesn't give you clock or mod recovery or twerp. There should be safe strap available for AT&T Verizon S4 users. Or actually, you, there is already a safe strap you can use. Um, so you can go ahead and use that. Uh, as far as other variants of Galaxy S4, you'll be able to root without uh, tripping NOx, uh, which is uh, how this root method works. It works uh, through an app. So let's go ahead and do it. Before we begin, uh, make sure you go to settings here about phone. Uh, make sure you have Android 4.4.2 uh, under Android version. Um, if you don't have that, uh, make sure you have Android 4.4.2. All right, next we're going to go ahead and uh, open up our browser and go to the site called towelroot.com like that. All right, if you go to the site, you'll see this Lambda sign. Simply click on the Lambda sign there. All right, and hit OK. And that will download the file uh, tr.apk. I've downloaded it a second time, so that's why it added dash to But go ahead and click on the APK file, download it, um, and then go to settings. And then make sure you hit unknown sources uh, there and hit OK and hit install and say yes just ignore the Google uh, error there or not pff, warning there and then go ahead and open the file and then go ahead and hit uh, make it rain um, just give it about 15 seconds and uh, this will basically reboot by itself and once that's over your your phone is rooted um, I can give it a second here. Uh, th so this will give you basically the uh, super user uh, root binaries. And what you will have to do is install the latest version of super SU. Uh, and then you'll have full root. So give it a second here. And give it a couple more seconds here. And it should be rebooting. And I'll try to fast forward this. Sometimes it takes longer than 15 seconds. All right, it's been like almost over a minute. If it doesn't work for you, just hit it again. And I found that it actually works. Uh, if it did reboot, then you're good to go. And you can go to the next step. Um, just hit it again. And give it a couple more seconds here. And it should work on the second try. All right, I think it's actually working. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the home button here. Um, now, okay, there we go. If you get this, uh, say yes, okay. And it will reboot your phone and it will it'll be fine. There you go. There we go. So we had to hit it twice and uh, force close it to make it work, but it, now it's rebooted. All right, once your phone has rebooted, um, you'll need to download the latest version of Super SU. Don't get the one on the Play Store. Um, you'll actually want to get the actual file. Uh, you can go to this site, downloadandroidrom.com, uh, and I'll have links to this, uh, this file. So go ahead and type that, and then go ahead and enter the CAPTCHA or the questions here. And obviously, that might be Geico. Go ahead and hit download. And this will download. Uh, make sure you hit OK there. And it will download this file called Super User APK. Um, it should be .apk. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you cannot open the file, sometimes it does that, go to My Files app. And then find the APK file, the Super User APK file. Um, go to Settings again. Hit Unknown Sources. Hit OK, hit install, and go ahead and open. All right, and it'll ask you, binary needs to be updated. Hit continue, hit normal, and this would update the binaries. Um, I've already removed Nox because I already run it once, but uh, if it asks you to remove uh, Nox, make sure you hit OK because that will remove Nox and it will interfere with your root. So make sure you hit OK if you see that after doing this. Um, if you got to this point, you're all good to go. And uh, you can go ahead 
and download an app like Titanium Backup app. I'm going to go ahead and delete this because I already set it here to just show you that uh, root is working. Go ahead and download uh, any rooted apps such as Titanium Backup app. Open it and you should get super user requests and congratulations. You have a fully rooted Galaxy S4 without tripping Knox. Um, so now you can go ahead and install SafeStrap uh, and uh, for your AT&T or Verizon Galaxy S4 and go ahead and enjoy all the favorite ROMs that you want to install. Um, for the future, I do suggest having a rooted Galaxy S4 uh, and do not update OTA. There's, you know, this is going to keep happening and people are going to have to find new ways to root and it might take, um, this time it took like months, I think it took almost six months for people to figure out root for Android 4.4.2. Uh, that's about it folks, now go ahead and root your phone and I will see you guys soon as always. If you have a Galaxy S4, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys4root.com and as always, stay high on Android.